Okay, this video is for uh, Mr. Three Wheel Bicycle. So, um, I wanted to show him some of my high voltage toys. Now, see, this thing right here is called a uh, Wimshurst generator. I'd love to show you it work, but the problem is, is the uh, there's little belts that connect these pulleys to these discs, and they've uh, decided to pack up on me. Yeah, got like dry rotted or something, and they broke. So anyway, but anyway, put that one to the side. And then we have this one here, and this is a Voss generator. Okay, I want to try and take a good close look so you can see these little like brushes that come around they have little like wires like a brush sticking down same with uh, right there and there's another one that goes across like this and comes down on the other side right there and there's another brush right there and another one right there. These two, that one and that one, are the collectors. That one and the corresponding one charge plates that are on the underside of the second disc on the bottom here. But the second disc doesn't spin on this one. Now, this right here called a Leiden jar or a Leiden jar. Same, same as tomato, tomato. Uh, now, there's nothing but foil tape on the outside of the jar and on the inside of the jar. And a little wire that leads from that center pole down into the wire. This is a very primitive capacitor. Okay, and I can actually storage up to about I think so far I've put about 35 to 55,000 volts into it and it actually stays for quite a bit it doesn't leak so bad um, let's see I've got a prototype right here that I made a long time ago and uh, let me open it to show you that there really is nothing like significant inside hold on a second Okay, so there's just a little wire that leads down to that other piece of a beer can in there and there's a Arizona iced tea on this side. What happens is the electrical particles charge on these plates and the actual container is the separator. And it's, it's kind of weird to think that electricity fills the jar up but it actually does and when it's charged it actually hisses. It's like a sss. you can hear the uh, electricity coming out. It's kind of weird. So we'll throw that one to the side here. And uh, so that's how we make this. Now, what I want to show them is the only thing this battery does is power a motor underneath that spins the uh, rotor. And so we'll get it fired up here. Let it come up to speed. probably won't be able to see it because they're faster than the camera but there's now an arc shooting across there probably be, probably about 35,000 volts you can definitely hear it and if you notice this is static electricity that we're charging straight out of the air it's a little bit more complicated by that but that's about the best way to explain it now what's happening is is creating a charge on the separate plates on the each underside that's coming from there. Now if I touch this, it will zap me. It will give me a really good shot, shock, and yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's not like it's painful, but it ah, makes you jump, you know what I'm trying to say? Now here's some of the more interesting things I've noticed about this device and these static devices. Now this is like a little fluorescent light that I took out of a scanner. 
And if I lay the wires across it, like so, yeah, of course I didn't want to do it because I'm on camera. Let's see if I can do it this way. I don't know if you can see that light bulb is lighting up and it's lighting up under the power of static electricity and it's charging across and exciting the gas inside now what's really weird is if you just hold it to one side it will light up and go off into the atmosphere it's not as bright because it's the electricity is escaping across the arc. But these are the same types of experiments that Mr. Three Wheeler, oh my battery's starting to go bad, now. starting to go low on the boss machines. Anyway, this is how I wanted to show them that I'm making 33,000 volts approximately out of the air. And, uh, I'm going to show you this stay charged for a second. Ah, see? <laughs> so, I just wanted to show them that. Uh, I'm sure he'll have more questions. So, let me know how, what you think. Thank you.